Hello and welcome to everyone watching this video. The topic of my poster is aesthetic evaluation via diagnostic wax ups for accurate treatment prognosis and enhancing patient motivation. So this was a case given to me six months back. She was a young lady who came in saying that she didn't like her front teeth. They were too long. They looked like buck teeth. And she just wanted more proportion teeth. Mind you, she was a very detail-oriented patient. So we did a third data collection, took her bite, impressions, pictures, videos, and we made three diagnostic wax ups. So given here, as you see, the first wax up was an idle proportion that we did from canine to canine, which we tried in. The second was only for the two central incisors, which we rotated in the wax up her eight and nines. And we use magic marker to reduce the length. The magic marker is a very good tool, which can be used to mask not only length, but a lot of different proportions in the mouth. So this gives the patient a very good insight of how an Invisalign treatment may turn out to be. And finally, the treatment that was decided was a final wax up by the lab, which she loved. So we went with six veneers. So this is my clinical workflow in which we put in the Luxatemp material. We had the buccal reduction, the incisal reduction. And here is my final preparations. There's enough clearance uh, from the occlusion. And this is the final impression. And then we put in, we spot etched our temporaries and then shaped them. Now, since I mentioned she's very detail oriented, she wanted some changes. And finally, we made an alginate impression, which we sent to the lab. And this is her rest position. The idea behind this technique that I found very interesting is that it gives a lot of say to the patient and it gives them more confidence when you kind of show them a predictability of what the final treatment might be. Not to say that we can completely show what Invisalign will turn out to be, but to just prove a sense of a final wax up to the patient or just to show her that, you know, it might look like this helps them make the correct decision and also prevents us from making mistakes. So given the three modalities that we use, I thought it was a very efficient way to make the patient part of your treatment plan. So finally, we had felspathic beautiful veneers by our ceramist and we cemented them in and she loved them. So I would say this is a very good technique and it should be implemented more. Yes, there's more back work of doing a wax up, even though they're not perfect, but it really gives the patient a good insight and makes them know where they're putting their money. And these are my references. I would recommend reading the article by Gorel, greatly written. And thank you so much for paying attention.